Hello everyone. In this video, we will start exploring Microsoft Excel. Since you are already familiar with one package of Microsoft Office, so we will go ahead with our next package that is Microsoft Excel. To start with Microsoft Excel, we will click on the start button. Then all programs. In all programs, just drag the vertical bar to down. Here we see Microsoft Office. Now click on the Microsoft Office. It shows us Excel, PowerPoint and Word. Now click on Excel button. The Microsoft Excel screen appears with a blank sheet. Now we will start discussing Microsoft Excel basics. The first one basic is workbook. A file in Microsoft Excel is called a workbook. By default, it is named as book 1. The extension given to the file saved in Excel is .xlsx. Next one is worksheets. A workbook is made up of many worksheets. The default names of the worksheet is sheet 1. You can rename them as you want. We can also add another worksheet by clicking on plus button. Now Microsoft Excel is made up of rows and columns. An Excel worksheet can have a total number of 1,48,000 576 rows and 16,384 columns. Next basic is row. A horizontal arrangement of cells in a worksheet is called a row. Row headings are the numbers that appear along the left hand side of the worksheet as 1, 2, 3 and so on. Here row 3 is highlighted. Next is column. A vertical arrangement of cells in a worksheet is called a column. Column headings are the capital letters that appear along the top of the columns as A, B, C, D, E, etc. Here column D is highlighted. Next is cell. Each individual box in the grid of a spreadsheet is called a cell. It is the intersection of row and column. Cell is the foundation of any spreadsheet as it is the basic unit of a worksheet. All data including text, numbers and formulas are entered in, into a spreadsheet. Next basic is cell address. Every cell has a unique cell address. The column and row headings 
आर यूज टू गिव ईच सेल अ स्पेसिफिक एड्रेस फॉर एग्जाम्पल जी फोर मीन्स द सेल एट द इंटरसेक्शन ऑफ द कॉलम जी एंड द रो फोर द सेल एड्रेस जी फोर विल बी डिस्प्लेड इन द अपर लेफ्ट कॉर्नर ऑफ द स्प्रेड शीट cell pointer the cursor in excel is called a cell pointer because it always point to a cell you will see a highlighted cell boundary at the position of the cell pointer notice that the cell pointer is at g4 next is active cell the cell at the cell pointer position is called an active cell or the current cell the content of this cell be displayed on the formula bar next basic is range of cells a group of cells is continuous location is called a range of cells a range is specified by giving the address of the first and last cell a range can be specified in three different manners first one is row range a group of cells are considered to be in a row range if the group of cells fall under the same row heading for example a group of cells from a1 to g1 can be considered as a row range as all the cells lie in the same row this is commonly known as a horizontal range second one is column range a group of cells can be considered as a column range when the group of cells lie under the same column heading for example a group of cells from a1 to a10 can be considered as a column range this is commonly known as vertical range now row and column range when a group of cells span across rows and columns they are called row and column range this is commonly known as a mixed range for example a range from a2 to j4 can be considered as a mixed range last one is multiple selection range in this type of range the collection of cells are not adjacent for example a range from a2 to a3 and b3 to b5 now we will discuss the various components of microsoft excel windows the first one is title bar the title bar is located at the top of the screen or the workbook windows microsoft excel displays the name of the workbook which you are currently working on on the title bar by default the name will appear as book 1 excel The second one is Quick Access Toolbar. Quick Access Toolbar provides shortcut to the most frequently used commands. 
This command is located in the left side of the title bar. You can easily customize the quick access toolbar by clicking the arrow on the right of the toolbar. Next one is file tab. File tab is the green tab located in the upper left corner of the Microsoft Excel screen. When you click the file tab, you can see Microsoft Office backstage view. Backstage view shows the set of commands used to manage worksheets like creating, saving, opening, printing and so on. Now the info bar shows the properties, dates and authors related purpose. New is used to create a new workbook. Open is used to open an existing workbook. Save is used to save the current workbook. Save as is used to save the current workbook under a new name. Print is used to print the workbook. Next component of Excel is Ribbon. Ribbon replaces the traditional menus and toolbars. Ribbon is designed to quickly find the commands required to complete a task. Ribbon is divided into two parts, tabs and groups. Ribbon has various tabs like Home, Insert, Page Layout, Formulas, Data, Review and View. Each tab contains various commands arranged in a different groups. Just click on the tab and use the command that you want to use in your workbook. Let us learn about various tabs on the ribbon. Home tab, it includes clipboard, font, alignment, number, styles, cells and editing groups. Insert tab, it includes tables, illustrations, charts, spark lines, filter links, and text group. Page layout tab is includes themes, page setup, scale to fit, sheet option and arrange groups. Formulas tab is includes function library, defined names, formula auditing and calculations groups. Data tab, it includes get external data, connections, sorts and filters, data, tool and outline group. Review tab includes the groups proofing, languages, comments and changes. View tab, it includes workbook views, show, zoom, window and macros groups. Let us learn about the various groups in home tab. First one is clipboard group. It includes cut, copy, paste and format printer commands. Font group, it includes text formatting options like font, font size, increase, font size, decrease font size, 
बोल्ड इटैलिक अंडरलाइन बॉर्डर फिल कलर एंड फॉन्ट कलर इन अलाइनमेंट ग्रुप इट इंक्लूड्स टॉप अलाइन मिडल अलाइन बॉटम अलाइन ओरिएंटेशन अलाइन टेक्स्ट लेफ्ट अलाइन टेक्स्ट सेंटर राइट डिक्रीज इंडेंट इंक्रीज इंडेंट रैप टेक्स्ट मर्ज एंड सेंटर कमांड्स अंडर नंबर ग्रुप इट इंक्लूड्स नंबर फॉर्मेट अकाउंटिंग नंबर फॉर्मेट परसेंट स्टाइल कॉमा स्टाइल इंक्रीज डेसिमल एंड डिक्रीज डेसिमल कमांड्स अंडर स्टाइल ग्रुप इट इंक्लूड्स कंडीशन फॉर्मेटिंग फॉर्मेट एज टेबल एंड सेल स्टाइल्स कमांड्स अंडर सेल्स ग्रुप इट इंक्लूड्स इंसर्ट सेल्स डिलीट सेल्स एंड फॉर्मेट कमांड्स द लास्ट इज एडिटिंग ग्रुप इट इंक्लूड्स सम फिल क्लियर सॉर्ट एंड फिल्टर एंड फाइंड एंड सिलेक्ट कमांड्स नेक्स्ट कॉम्पोनेंट इज फॉर्मूला बार This bar shows the cell pointer position on the left corner box. In this example, you can see G4 written in the formula bar, meaning that the cell pointer is currently at cell G4. On the right side, you see the formula box. You can type cell formula directly or click FX to begin the formula wizard. In normal case, this bar displays the content of the cell that the cell pointer points to. Next is status bar. This bar is displayed at the bottom of the windows. It shows the status of the program. Many options on status bar are selected by default. You can customize the status bar with a right click and select the option of your choice. Cell mode is selected by default. This option displays the cell editing mode like ready edit enter and point the status of num lock caps lock score lock overtype mode page number view shortcuts zoom and many more are also displayed on the status bar Now last one is worksheet area. This is the actual place where the data or information is entered and formatted in the forms of rows and columns. Pictures, charts and objects are also insert here. At the bottom of the worksheet you can see the sheet tab with the names of the worksheet with the active worksheet displayed. You can click on the bottom on the left corner to see all the worksheets and use the horizontal scroll bar to scroll the current worksheet left and right. The vertical scroll bar can be used to scroll the current worksheet up and down. Thank you for watching this video. We will start creating, saving, opening and closing a workbook in our next video.